Good morning. We are finally at day four of Vlogmas. If you guys watched my last video, then you would know I said I was gonna start putting makeup on and you can't really tell. It looks very natural, but your girl put some makeup on. So today it's not gonna be very eventful. So I decided why don't we do like a cook with me for dinner? It's Monday, so it's a crazy day, but yeah, I was thinking of cooking chili. I saw Queen and Clarence's uh, Vlogmas. I don't remember which day it was, but she cooked chili and it looked so good. I've been craving chili, especially the fall. It's getting cold. I think right now it's 50 degrees right now, which is cold in California. So I'm going to whip up some chili. I'm going to cook my grandma's cornbread. Like there's a specific way that she cooks it. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, I don't know if we're going to do any kind of dessert. I think my sister is making cupcakes or something so we'll see i hope she does though because her cupcakes are amazing it's 7 30 early 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 i have to be somewhere at 8 30. i'm not looking forward to this i mean monday's already a rough day so we're just gonna go with the motions but the one highlight of my day is cooking so i'm ready to eat already i haven't had breakfast yet so i did bring snacks though i bought some bugles the nacho cheese flavor is superior i know they have like caramel and stuff like why sweet bugles i don't understand and then i have some applesauce this is the mango peach one i love the strawberry one but um, I think they only sell that at Walmart and I was at Vons at the time, but I'm heading to Walmart for all of the chili stuff So I'm definitely picking up some strawberry ones. I actually just rediscovered my love for applesauce because my sister if you haven't seen any of the other vlogs she just got her wisdom teeth pulled out so she has to eat all soft food so she got applesauce and then I had one and I kind of got hooked so yeah it's a new obsession of mine. <laughs> place called Kung Fu Tea. I had a $2 off coupon, so I figured I would try this out. Look how cute this packaging is. It came in this little bag. I got the strawberry milk tea with the mango lechi. Right in the bullseye. Wow, isn't that crazy? I usually get the taro or the taro and I don't like boba, so I've never tried the other ones that they have, but I wanted to try something different, especially since I had a $2 off the car. Mm. I didn't get any of the mango, but the strawberry tea is really good. just chewing a piece of gum but I like that this like actually dissolves I'm definitely gonna come here more that's why I really like coupons you find places that you never would have even known existed this is literally the same complex as the Trader Joe's that I always come to but I never come on this side so I never would have known it was here mm. so good All right, I got a little pick-me-up. Now it's time to go shopping for some chili. I have my fun drink and my responsible drink. By the way, this is my fourth cup of water. I'm really proud of that. I got a bell pepper. I need some garlic. I love fresh garlic. The one in the container t doesn't have a taste to me. I'm trying to decide if I should just be lazy and get the already made seasoning for chili or if I should make my own seasoning. The thing is, I think I have all the ingredients except cumin. I need some black beans and also some dark red kidney beans. I almost forgot my applesauce. I went down the wrong aisle. Strawberry applesauce. This is my favorite one. This and the cinnamon. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the chili seasoning. But oh my gosh, when did it become 
a dollar fifty, a dollar sixty. I thought these were like fifty cents. Okay, the milk section is looking real bare. I do not see buttermilk. At store number two, which is perfect because I forgot to get the baking stuff for my sister so she can make a cake. Buttermilk. Oh, this one's 1 1.5. You know what? This is probably better than the one I would have got from Walmart. So I just woke up from a nap. It was the best nap ever. But it's already dark now and I'm hungry so I'm going to whip up this chili, finally. If you follow my page, you know that I love chili. It's something that's just easy to whip up, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and it's really good, you know? Especially in these colder months. And for me, chili gets better like as the days go on. What is your go-to meal that you know will be ready in like an hour that you don't have to think about? For me, it's chili or tacos. Pretty much anything with ground beef. As long as it's thawed out, right? They had really slim pickings for bell peppers, so I got this really long one. Ooh, it's so cute. I don't know if anyone watches Becky from, I think it's Anchor Homestead, Homestead, but um, she taught me to hold the knife like this because you have more control over it. And I realized I never do that, so I've been catching myself trying to do that more. Especially with these new knives I have, they are so sharp. I like browning up the ground first. Of course. This is just 93% lean, 7% fat. So I'm not even gonna bother draining this out. I actually am gonna want a little bit of that oil to cook the veggies. I'm only gonna cook the meat about halfway through and then I'm gonna add the veggies. Okay, the ground beef's about halfway cooked. I'm gonna add my veggies. There's always like one or two veggies that just find its way out. And I like to cook down the veggies just so that way the chili doesn't take too long to cook. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm adding five cloves. I just looked in the freezer and I found a little bit of corn. I didn't think we had corn. I'm adding my seasoning now. This is just one packet of the McCormick chili seasoning. And my little secret is to add a little bit of cinnamon. I love the flavor. If you're from the South, you might know about chili and, and cinnamon rolls. I know some people in the Midwest say that they um, do that too. But I specifically remember in Arkansas, that was the only place that I remember doing it, is they would have chili and dessert would always be a cinnamon roll and it tastes so good together. I need to make that together one day. I like cooking the spices in with the meat and the veggies just to wake up the spices before I add the beans and the tomato products. I'm just adding some diced tomatoes and some tomato sauce. And what I'm gonna do with the can of the tomato sauce is add a little bit of water to this and get all the remaining out. And I just have a whole can do you like your chili chunky or soupy? I like mine kind of chunky, so this is actually gonna boil off a little bit. 
And now we just have the black beans and the kidney beans. I just drained and rinsed these. I'm just gonna put a lid on this and let this simmer until the cornbread's done. So I called myself calling my granny to get her cornbread recipe. And of course, she doesn't have a recipe. She's like, you just put some eggs in. You, her main thing was you have to put buttermilk in in place of regular milk. That's supposed to just make it taste a lot better. I'm using a mix that already has um, buttermilk in it, but she says to still use buttermilk because I'll be able to taste the difference. So we're just gonna go with the recipe that's on the bag. I'll show you what brand I have. It's just the Martha White buttermilk cornbread mix. The recipe looks really easy. It just calls for one teaspoon of vegetable shortening or vegetable oil. I think that's to help with uh, sticking of the container. One large egg, one and one third cup of milk, one fourth cup of vegetable oil, and two cups of Martha White self-rising enriched white buttermilk cornmeal mix. I am going to change the recipe a little bit. I think everything tastes better with butter, so instead of the oil, I'm going to replace it with butter. And it calls for one fourth cup. I'm just going to heat this up. I'll be right back. I know southern bread is not supposed to be sweet, but I'm used to sweet cornbread. So I'm actually going to add about one fourth cup of sugar. Maybe a little less, because I don't like mine too sweet. But that is not in the recipe. I swear I cook cornbread like every other video. <laughs> I don't know, I just love cornbread. I feel like it goes with so many dishes. What else goes with chili? I know I said the cinnamon rolls. I eat it with rice too. Is there any other sides that go with chili? I have about a tablespoon of butter in here. I'm gonna let this melt in the oven while I finish the rest of the cornbread. And the last thing it calls for is two cups of the cornmeal. I've never made this kind of cornbread with chili though. I usually make this uh, when I'm eating greens. So I wanted to try something a little different. I think cornbread's one of those things where there's so many different recipes and a lot of them taste really good. I love like all different recipes. Like I love the Betty Crocker one. That's the one that my mom always made. I love even the Jiffy one. I know they said there's a whole bunch of bad things in there, but it's just childhood, you know? Now, since this only has one egg, it's not gonna rise like my normal crusties one. I'm just gonna swish this butter around. And then pour this in. Honestly, I think my grandma would have added more milk but I wanted to go with the recipe. <laughs> so we'll see. This is really thick. It's thicker than what I remember my, my granny making. But you know what? First of minis, right? And this is going in a 450 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. I would check at the 20 minute mark. Okay, so this does not look like my grandma's. I only cooked this for 20 minutes, but it looks really kind of burnt on the edges. So I think next time I'm going to add another egg for fluffiness and probably a little more milk. I went ahead and made a batch of the famous Dave cornbread because I know Mo and Chelsea are not gonna be about this life when it comes for 
eating it with chili. This is more of a cornbread that I think would go great with greens, um, but chili not so much. So this is probably gonna be our cornbread for tonight. I had a sliver of it though, and it was really good by itself. Like I'm definitely gonna eat this and nibble on this throughout the week. So now it's finally time to eat. I'm starving um, and chili is one of my favorite meals so I'm a lucky girl right now. This has been cooking for well over an hour and the longer you let it cook the better it tastes. It honestly tastes better the next day. I'm just gonna plate this up. I'm really basic. I just like to top, top mine with cheese but you can do like green onions, Fritos, sour cream. I don't really like sour cream but that's really popular with chili. I like a lot of cheese. I like to layer it too. Look how good this looks. I'm just gonna get a slice of cornbread. Look how good that looks. Yes. Doesn't that look amazing? I can't wait to dig into this. Okay, it's time for the taste test now. I did it again. I don't know if it's because I'm really hungry or if this is really good, but I I outdid myself this time, y'all. And you know what? The famous Dave cornbread, perfect for chili. The sweetness is perfect for like all the spices that are in the chili. Sweet cornbread all the way when it comes to stews and soups and stuff, for sure. Mm. I'm about to eat this. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me today. If you like Vlogmas, let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video. I don't like saying all this stuff, but honestly, it really does help my channel. And some new people have already found me. So if you are new and you found me through Vlogmas, let me know. I promise, I think I'm going to put up that Christmas tree tomorrow. It's something about tomorrow. I feel it in my soul because um, <laughs> right now, I'm not doing it. I'm eating this, editing this video, and taking my butt to bed. But thank you guys so much for watching day four of Vlogmas. Don't forget if you like this video and want me to make more, just let me know. If you are new and you want to subscribe so you can continue watching Vlogmas with me, just go ahead and hit that button and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.